you are the officer in charge at the station, and it is a very hot day out, and you have training that needs to be accomplished. So you decide to delay the training until later in the afternoon when it should be cooler. Hey, Cap, what do you think? We just had lunch. It's hot outside. Maybe we can do the training later. Everybody in agreement with that? Yeah. Awesome. All right. yeah. Awesome. All right, let's That'd do it then. Great. Perfect. All right, fellas, it's that time. What time? Time to go train. It's five o'clock. It's our time. All right, so what do we feel about my time? <laughs> what do you think? You're the officer. It's your time. Period. You made a deal with the men to go out and drill. You gave them some slack, and now they're going to turn around and throw it back at you? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, we're going out to drill. And we're going out to drill. And guess what? Next shift, when we show up, we're going out to drill at 1 o'clock right after lunch, and we're drilling until after dinner. Okay? <laughs> we're going to be riding around the neighborhood, and we're going to be... Because if you let this go... You have just given away your leadership role in this firehouse. You have just mm -hmm. given away everything you have built and everything else. You were willing to make a deal to go out and do your job. And we're gonna, I'm going to give you a little break. It's drill time, but we're going to go out later just because something's going on. Not a problem. We still got to go out and do the drill. That's part of what we do. And we got to go out and get it done. And now you're telling me, well, it's my time? Well, guess what? <laughs> It's our time, and we're going out, we're getting on the rig, and we're going to do that drill. And it's probably going to be a longer, harder drill than the one I had planned. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I, uh, this one's pretty clear cut. I think I don't think there's a whole lot of gray here. Um, you, I think, number one, the company officer just did a really good thing in listening to the troops when they said it's hot out. Is it okay if we just kind of delay the drill? And the officer did a solid, did him a solid and said, yeah, let's, let's delay it. That's no problem. And I can understand you get it thrown back in your face. You know, your initial reaction is, advantage of it. well, advantage and there's some disrespect in there. You know, you, you get that. What you would hope from the other troops sitting at the, around the uh, TV there is that they would kind of step up and say, no, wait a minute. You did us a solid. We're going to go. If that doesn't happen, I think as a company officer, you are bound to say, let's get up. Let's go do the drill. That's what we agreed to. And here's what I expect from this point forward. When I, I mean, I explain it to them. You're not going to get angry with them. I'm going to blow up at them. But explain it to them. When I do something for you that accommodates our schedule and makes things better for you so we're a better crew, I expect a professional response in return. And the professional response here is, don't give me my time, crap. Give me, hey, no problem, Cap. You did us right. We're going to go out and drill. That would be my expectation. The fact that the officer was nice enough to accommodate the firefighters uh, for, for training at a later time, uh, during the shift, uh, I mean that that should have motivated the firefighters to cooperate with the officer. I believe that this is just clear cut insubordination. Uh, there's no there's no room for that at the firehouse uh, uh, or in the fire service. Uh, it is tough enough to schedule training to be able to take your unit out of service, uh, mm -hmm. and I usually schedule my training in the morning. Uh, I want to get it out of the way early, and sometimes my training is. It's actually canceled uh, because other issues arise. There's units out of service. Uh, there's breakdowns. Uh, there's uh, multiple alarms going around, and you know uh, the volume of calls might have picked up. Uh, but I I don't like the phrase "it's my time," unless it's an, a union issue where the union uh, has some kind of a of a contract with a department where you do not drill at a certain time, uh, which I would I would actually think that that's something that would be unacceptable. Uh, there are some drills that need to be conducted at night. Uh, you know, you need the darkness, uh, especially if you're doing firefighter survival. Uh, but yeah, definitely this insubordination, and I don't like that it's my time uh, phrase at all. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree. Um, I just, for my own personal self, I go to work, I know what time I'm supposed to be there, and I know what time I'm su supposed to get off. <laughs> So my time are for my 48 hours off. But when I put on my uniform and I go to work, that time is the city's time. 
So when that officer, you know, does us a solid to say, hey, it is kind of hot outside, it's Florida, it's 90 degrees outside, we'll wait for it to cool off. When he comes and addresses the station, I would hope that as a fellow officer within that station, that he would say, hey, Cap, yeah, you're right. Let's all get up and get the training out the way and get it done. So. All right.